Thank you for listening to the weekly messages of New Providence Primitive Baptist Church. To subscribe to our podcast, hear other messages, or learn more about us, please visit nppbc.com. I say it's good to be in the Lord's house. Unworthy to be here. Uh, the Lord's laid this message on my heart, and I've had it for a while. I've had this message since I announced my call to preach. <laughs> Never been able to preach, but the Lord's laid it on us tonight, so we're going to try our best. I love the singing tonight, and this singing has been phenomenal since we opened the doors of the church and come in. But we just right there at the end, we was talking about dying on a battlefield and laying our armor down to the side. And I want you to know if you're in the battle, then I hope that there is a place where you can get a little bit of help. Yep. And if you're going through a hard spot, and I've been in those, and I've been inside of a battle where sometimes it feels like I'm kicking up against a brick wall yeah. and can't get nowhere. Yeah. I feel like sometimes yeah. that whenever we try to press on a little farther, we can't go nowhere, ain't got no help. But I want to read tonight about a little bit of help that the Lord's given us. Yeah. Uh, you see, I never looked at it this way until the Lord had given me this message five years ago, just about, and uh, never seen it this way ever since. And I preached the same scripture, but the Lord's laid this on our hearts. So if you got your Bibles in Genesis chapter number twenty-two, we're going to read about Abraham and Isaac. Very familiar scripture, but I just want to read just a couple verses, if you will. The Lord's been good to us tonight. Amen. I feel like it is our job to keep on the battlefield and keep pressing on. Abraham was one of them that battled. Till the day he died, he battled, I believe, with everything he had in him. In verse number 6, in Genesis chapter number 22, and verse number 6, it says, And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac. His son, and he took the took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. Then Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide help. A lamb for a, provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together, and they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood. In order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou withheld, that thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering. Instead of his son, you may be seated. I want to preach tonight on a little ball. I don't plan on standing long, but I want you to know that if you're going through the hard time, that the ram is on the way. I want you to know that no matter how hard your battle is, you see, this is a hard thing for Abraham to do. Oh, it was a hard battle for Abraham to make his son. I looked at this, it was just like Jesus. <laughs> See, he had to carry his own wood. He put it on my own. Yeah. Just yeah. like Christ did the cross. <laughs> but you see, whenever he got up there, I was a cool daddy and said, Daddy, where's the burnt offering? We have everything in it. But there's one thing that we lack. And that's the offering. Amen. But you see, whenever he got down there, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. Abraham, Abraham. Yeah. 
reason. <laughs> Didn't plan on preaching or not until yeah. last night. And Tommy texted me. And uh, I was around some wicked people last night whenever Tommy sent me that message. <laughs> Drinking and everything going on for a fundraiser. <laughs> but yeah, my cousin moved over and he said, what's that about? And I said, tomorrow night. He said, that's good. And I said, yeah, it is. <laughs> I got back in the truck and the Lord placed it on my heart. <laughs> you see, whenever he took Abraham, yeah, he bound him out. He made sure that he wouldn't run from him. Oh, he bound him up where he had no way to go. Sometimes yeah. I feel that way. Yeah. See, I'm going into battle. I feel like I just can't move no more. Right. Got my foot stuck in a trap or something. Yeah. Can't move. But I want you to know tonight <laughs> that even though he was bound, that the Lord still sent a ram to me. Yeah. Church 
to the Lord put us. The altar right there. But it ain't just the altar. It's just waiting there for you. Say, oh, boy, the Lord's got the ram right there by the horn sitting there holding him back for you. Wanting you to come up and get him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go through a hard battle. There's a way out, ain't there? Yeah. Amen. I've always found a way out. Bless his name. Hardest battles I've ever been in. I've been in some rough ones right there. Some rough ones. But you know what? Never once have I lost a woman. Because you know what? Because yeah. I never fought on the beginning with yeah. The ram showed up and said, All right, I got the rest of this. Go somewhere. You know what that did whenever that ram showed up? Whenever I cut out the flutes. Let him stand up behind him and they, they sacrificed that lamb right there. And you know what I said whenever I, I, I fell asleep over at hell? I got to dreaming and thinking about this. I believe whenever that lamb come, whenever that ram come up there, they, they bound him up and laid him on there and cut Isaac loose. And I believe Isaac was terrified whenever he saw his dad with the knife over him. Well, he started crying and begging him not to, begging him. I won't. <laughs> but still, what happened whenever that rain fell up here? I don't believe it. I was going down there on his knees, started thanking God for the rain. And then Abraham got down beside of him and started thanking God for the rain. He said, It's time tonight that we start knowing that the rain's there. And then we we'll thank God for it. Amen. Amen. He said, There many a time. I didn't know how I was going to make it through a day. I didn't know how I was going to make it through a battle. But the ram showed up there for me. And you know what I do a long time? I'm grabbing that ram and use that ram and never thank God for it after all. Yeah, it's time that we thank God for it. You see, that ram, ram, whenever they did the burnt offering, that was their thanks to God. Yeah. That's exactly what they was doing. So tonight, you're Isaac. You've been battling for Isaac for a while. You're Abraham. If you think of it as yourself, you'll be Abraham. And you've been battling for an Isaac for a while. We're going through a battle, if you will. Your ram's ready. I'm glad your ram's been here since the service opened. You know, there's been some of them found it. And you know, tonight we ought to be thankful for the ram we've ever seen. It's never been a gift that I've ever gotten. It never amounted to nothing other than that one day. Whenever I was a five year old boy, and the Lord pulled that ram out of the thicket and put him in my place. And now, ever since then, I've used that ram many a time. That's the Lord. Yeah. You see, I went mean, through many different battles, many different trials throughout my life. And there's always been a ray of escape. There's always been a ram there Bless to the plead Lord. my case. Amen. And you know what? Bless the Lord. It'll be there tomorrow whenever I need it. It'll be there the next day whenever I need it. Whenever times get tough, that baby gets here and I don't know what I'm going to do, bill wise, or anything else. You know what I'll do? Mean? I'm going to grab my ram that the Lord set aside for me. And I'm going to use it to the best of my ability. Yeah, yeah. Because he has ordained it and set it aside for me. He he said, that wasn't made for nobody else. That was Abraham's line, a ram right there on the side. Wasn't right. nobody else. Yep. So you know what? There wasn't nobody else there. Amen. Been there a lot of times whenever I'm in a place by myself and the ram walks out. And I sit there question, who's that for, Lord? No, and the whole time I'm the only one there. It's for me. Yeah, thank you, Lord. See, now it's time. I believe it. Now it's a better time than any. Right. If you're in a battle, yep. Bert, I want to die on the battlefield with you. Yeah. Let you know how I can. Because the Lord set the ram out for me to give me a way of escape out of it. You see, I'm going to battle for it. I'm going to battle till my last Amen. breath if the Lord will help Amen. me. But only because oh, he yeah. set that lamb out for whenever times get tough. He set that ram out to let me get a little break every now and then. Let me get a little bit of help every now and then. You see, your ram's here tonight. I believe we're going to go back in the world tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. Worst day of the week. If you ask me, because i got to go in at 5.30 in the morning to wake up and go to work. Never I've had a long weekend off. Hey, but you know what? Whenever I go in, the first thing I'm going to hear in the morning, bad language, bad talk, and everything else. But you know what there was? There was a ram right there for me every single time I've asked yep. for it. Right. See, Paul, if I get up in the morning, I sit there and pray for the Josh. Say, Lord, I need your help today. Amen. There's always been a ram. Yep. Every once. 
If you're facing hell tonight and, and you're lost in a sinner and you're going to die and go to hell one day, there is a way of escape right. and it is here. But if you are a saved person and you are a Christian living the best that you can or whether you're not, I want you to know that them battles get tough. There's a way of escape. The ram is called up here tonight and the Lord's holding it. You say, oh, I've read this and preached it many different times the same scripture. Never once looked at it that way. Well, you know that the ram is there. Yeah. yeah. You always have it. The answer. Your answer, your escape. Yeah. There's always a door. Yeah. yeah. You see, I got two doors on my house. I can walk out the front one. Right there ain't no porch on it. But you can walk out that back. You got some cinder blocks you step out on, and that's a way of escape sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? Now come in here. There's two doors, and I don't want to use either one of them to escape. I want to use the ram right there. Yeah. You see, the old timers call it a mourner's bench and everything else. But not it for me. It's a ram. It may be different for anybody else, but for me, it's a ram. So y'all battled many different battles in my life. But the ram's always been there. <laughs> From the time I was a five year old boy, whenever I knew that my name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, like we sung earlier. Yep. It was because the ram was there. Right. Mm-hmm. And then again, That's whenever right. I got through some tough times, the ram's always been there. Throughout everything in my life, there's always been a ram. But most of all, there's always been someone who sent the ram. Yeah. You see, the angel had to tell Abraham that the ram was stuck there. Many a time, the Lord has to sit in something to tell me, hey, you escaped right there. Because you know what I'll do? I'll get so hard-headed in my battle, and I'll start breaking down on him, and <laughs> pouting, and doing everything else. And yeah. never really, all the time, the Lord has been saying, there, your hand's over here. Amen. Yeah. That's right. yeah. That's your right. hand's over yeah. here. The whole time, I ain't ever doing no one with it. But tonight, you see, see I, I'm not there to promise. You. But your hand's here. Your tough times, yeah. your battles that you go yeah. through, you know what it is? We don't have to deal with none of them. We say that the Lord just wants to see whether or not we're faithful God, to him enough yeah. to go ahead and try. See, that's what Abraham did right there. He went out and tried to battle with this and tried to take his son up there and do what the Lord had asked him to do. Yeah. And you know what he did? He was about to come down with it, be completely yeah. obedient to it. Yep. And the angel of the Lord showed up to him and said, Hey, Right there is your choice. Yeah. Go ahead and take it. Tonight that's the choices. Amen. You're going through a hard time, you can keep trying to do it yourself. It ain't going to work. Right. Amen. See, I've been in them. As a 20 year old boy, I've been in them. Yep. But most of all, I'm thankful for those rams. Thank you, Lord. Lord. got stuck in the feet for me. You may be going through it tonight, and I don't know nobody's heart. But I can tell you this, the Lord has made an escape for us. Yeah. And the ones that are here, yeah. yeah. they've made an escape for us since the day that we ask him into our lives. Yeah. And tonight it's the rain stuck in the thicket. Yeah. And tonight it's your choice. The way the officer will come and get it or not, he's waiting and holding it for you. Amen. Amen. <coughs> come get us on. That's if they would get us on. I think when Abraham was coming up one side, the ram was coming up the other. We don't know when or how God's going to deliver us, but what he's promised to do is deliver us. And that means that whatever the need is, God has the answer for that need. You see, before there was ever sin in a garden, there was a Savior. God already had the answer before there was ever a problem. And that hadn't changed. In your life or mine, the fact that we can't see it's probably because we hadn't we hadn't looked around yet. But God's already got the answer. I'm glad that I've got one that I can go to. He said, "Cast your care on me, for I care care for you." 
I've got one that knows my every need, and he's able to deliver us today. Amen. Stand with us if you would. I don't know your heart, but if you're here tonight and you need to pray, let's take it to the Lord in prayer. That God will provide the answer that you need tonight. As we sing.